Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing what I hope is a quick troubleshooting guide to this gas furnace. Uh, so I came back from vacation and uh, walked in the house and it was 50 degrees, very chilly. Uh, so I had to figure out how to get my gas furnace on real quick. Now, a Goodman gas furnace, uh, but I think these are pretty common uh, and, and pretty universal to the steps that I'll be talking about. So I'm not an HVAC technician. Not an expert here, but just going to show a few things I would try before I uh, call someone out. So I think what the issue is, is this, uh, this isn't getting a proper vacuum right here, but I'll go through a few troubleshooting steps, show you what it's doing for me. So a um, couple things to check. My gas is on. The switch is parallel to the line. I have this on. Um, my switch will be on here in a minute, but if you're going to take this off, there's a circuit board right here um, and it'll flash and those flashes are an in indicator of what the issue is and I'll show you those codes. Alright, to take the panel off, there's uh, just three screws on mine uh, just right here in the sheet metal. Three little screws for both these plates I took them off. Now there's a safety lid switch right here. Uh, you have to press this or else the whole unit will cut off. Uh, it, it's to make sure that you have that enclosed but while we're testing it out we'll hold this button We'll turn on. I'll show you what it's doing for me. I turned on. This motor turns on, but the big, uh, the big fan doesn't ever turn on, and the burners don't ever turn on. So I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna put this down and I'll flip this switch. So it's initializing. It's getting ready to start up. So here this motor is turning on uh, but nothing's going on so I'm going to hold this down get a little closer so if you look on the circuit card you see a flashing light so that flashing light will indicate what kind of air you're having so in this case you can see three flashes uh, and we'll look up what that code is so I'm going to turn this off let this go And then if you look on your panel, you should have a code reader. So I'm going to look right here. So this may seem complicated, but if you look at this, you can see three flashes means a pressure switch stuck open. So we're going to look at the pressure switch. This is your pressure switch right here. So uh, it determines what kind of vacuuming that you're pulling from this motor. It wants to make sure you're drawing a large enough vacuum before it ignites the burners. So a few things to check. Uh, I have this just barely on here for demonstration purposes. Um, you can go ahead and take this off. Just a single screw right there. So I'm going to take that off. Set that to the side. Uh, and you have a hose right here. So you can di disconnect this hose. Make sure it's clear. Make sure there's no obstructions anywhere. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this off right here. Uh, and I've already taken this and, and make sure that this is clear. It is. Now, uh, you can go ahead and run this. I'm not going to. But go ahead and run this and check right here. And you should be drawing a vacuum. Or you can you can pull the, the hose from, from this end if you just want to check it before you pull this off. But you should be pulling a suction through this hose. Uh, and, and that indicates that you do have vacuum that's drawing through. So check uh, while you have that running. Check and make sure that you do have a suction through there. I uh, already did and I did not. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to clear any obstruction I have in this, uh, this little fitting right here. So let me take this out. Got my set of Allen keys right here. I'm going to find one. So I can feel, I got a little bit of something right here. I'm going to go ahead and push that, push that in. Let's see. Okay. Looks like I may have had some, some trash or something right there that was clearing that path. So I'm going to put my hose back on, plug it up and see if now I should be drawing a suction through this. All right, got everything put back together real easy. Put my hose back on, got the pressure switch mounted back uh, so I'm going to test it out and uh, see if this cleared our problem so I'm going to go ahead and flip this on but it's not going to turn on because the switch isn't down uh, because I don't have my panel on but flip that down 
You hear the clicking of the board right there. So I have a solid light. Same thing as before. Our small motor is going to turn on. But we'll see if we get our error code. So if you look over there, usually by now this would start blinking. Uh, and I have a solid red light, which is good. Alright, if you look in there, you can see that the, uh, the flame sensor is starting to glow. So that's good. And we should expect our burners to turn on here soon. Alright. There we go. So now we have heat. So all this was was some blockage down there in that port that needed to be cleared up. And once we did that, then we got our furnace back on. Now we got heat in a warm house. Now you can also uh, take a shot back and you can clean that hose or clean that fitting, but uh, I'm gonna leave it as is. Look at there. So now our big motor turned on. Uh, now it's sucking out the heat and distributing it through the house. All right, well, this is a fix. Uh, glad we got it going. Thanks for watching.